What's up guys, this is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys um, how to use this football square spreadsheet template. So basically when you download it, you're going to get some sort of PDF that's going to give you a link to make a copy of the spreadsheet. So once you click onto this, uh, that link, it's going to bring you to this screen here and just make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account on your browser, okay? And then just click on make a copy. Now. After you do that, it's gonna create its own copy for you that's gonna live in your Google Drive. And the first thing I would do is I would make a copy of this sheet. So there's a squares tab and an instructions tab, right? Um, these are instructions, but this video is basically gonna cover everything step by step. So go to the squares tab and click onto this little arrow here and click on duplicate. And the reason why is this way you're always gonna have a original Un, um, unedited tab that you can always make copies of for like different games or in case you mess up on this one, right? So you can call this one, you know, like week one. So the way you change the name is you just double click into it and then click, type in like week one. Maybe it's like Patri uh, Patriots versus Bears. I have no idea. Um, something like that, right? And then the first thing you want to do is you want to type the list of players in here so this supports you know up to like a hundred players or something like that um, so start typing in players of of who's going to be playing with you guys right so let's say it's joey chandler ross rachel and so forth um who else is there um phoebe and monica okay so that's what you would do and then and then once you do that, I would type in the names of the teams. So let's say it's Patriots, and then let's say here it's Bears, right? And then once you start typing in these names, what's gonna happen is they will automatically appear on this dropdown list, right? So if I added in another name, like, so right now if you look at the dropdown list, it only has these six names, but if I add in Michael, then you'll see that if I click on here, it's gonna say Michael. Now it's important to select, when you select the squares, make sure that they use the drop down menu. You can start typing it like this, but I would still use the drop down menu because sometimes if you type things wrong, it's it's not gonna do it correctly as the way this sheet's supposed to work, right? So if I type in Michael without like the uppercase M, like the way it's typed here, then it's not really gonna count towards Michael when it's doing all the calculations. So I would suggest that you guys just, um, not sure why this is here. I would suggest that you guys just use the drop down menu, right? So just click on the drop down menu. And then at this point, um, what you can do is you can start sharing the sheet. So the way that I recommend you guys doing it is go to share. And then what you can do is start typing in the emails of everyone. So everyone's Gmails, you know what I mean? So um, like, let's see, I have an extra Gmail you can use. So do that and then hit make sure that they're editors and hit send. Um, that way you can see who's editing the sheets at all times and who's made what changes. The other way you can do it um, that's less secure is hit share and then change the link, change it to anyone with the link can edit it and then click copy link and then this is the link that you would give out. So copy this copy this link and then give it out to people. The only uh, problem with this is that you're not gonna be able to see who made the certain edits, right? So if if you were to share it by email address, um, it's basically gonna give you an exact history if you need to, if there's any like trust issues or whatever, um, that you can just kind of go into here and you can click on who made what change where. So it's just a little extra added layer, but if you're playing with you know close friends, you should trust them anyways, I hope. But anyways, once you do that and everyone has access to the sheet, they can basically, at, in real time, you guys can basically each just select all of your squares wherever you want, right? And then so once all of the squares are selected, so let me just do this quickly so I can have an example. That's not, this is not how you would do it, but let's say everyone's selected their, whoops, selected their square. So this is the wrong way of doing it, but I just want to do it fast. So everyone selected their, their square, right? And now it's going to show how many squares everyone selects. Oh, I'm sorry. The one thing you want to do too is you want to put in the cost of each square. So maybe you do $5, right? Just type in a 
type in a 5 and press enter. Um, this way it helps you calculate based on how many squares were selected by each person, how much everyone owes, and then you can kind of mark paid, yes, no, if you want, right? It's just an extra thing, but like everyone owes 50, but I selected 40 squares, so I owe $200. All right, so once everyone selected their squares, what you can do is you wanna randomize these numbers, right? So once this is set, it's set. If you want, you can take a screenshot or whatever, but um, this way no one can change their, their selections. So what you would do, so it says here, highlight each number, um, each set of numbers, and then right click and select randomize. So you do this, just highlight it, and then right click it, and then hit uh, randomize range, like that one time. Same thing over here, randomize range. And you'll see here that now everything is randomized and then just type in the score of each of at the end of each quarter. So let's say it's seven to 10. It's gonna tell you exactly who won because seven and, oops, seven and zero, sorry. Seven and zero is Michael. Um, let's say the next quarter is 14 to 12. Oh, I win again because it's four to two. And then let's say it's 21 to 19. The winner would be Ross because one and nine would be one and nine is Ross. And then um, 28 to 24. So eight to 24, eight to four would be Chen. So you see here, and then in case there's overtime, you can put in overtime. Um, this one's also a reverse winner if you guys wanna do that, but that's not really, um, you know, that doesn't have to be there. Uh, so that's basically how you would um, find out who wins and use this sheet, right? And then after you're done, I would just leave this sheet so you guys, you guys can have a history. If you want, you can right click here and hide it and it'll always be under review, hidden sheets, week one Patriots, or you can click here and then the grayed out ones and it'll pop back up. And then each game that you guys wanna bet on each week or whatever, just keep right clicking here and then click on duplicate and it'll basically um, give you guys a brand new, brand new sheet and just repeat the entire process. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Um, feel free to reach out to me via email if you guys have any questions. It's michael at hustlesheets.com. Thanks a lot, guys. And then the link to buy this template is gonna be in the description. I think I'm gonna have it on Etsy as well as my own website. All right, thanks a lot, guys.